What's up coders? My name is Grady Alec. I'm an embedded software engineer and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to download and install STM32 Cube IDE. Make sure you hit that like button, consider subscribing, and without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go to the official STM32 Cube IDE uh, website link where you can download the software. You can access that link in the description below, so you can click on that and go on from there. First thing you want to do is you want to click on Get Software. Then you, uh, you can choose which uh, installer you want to use. Uh, in my case, I'm going to use uh, Windows, but uh, if you have Linux or Mac or anything like that, you can select the option based on that. You can also select the version if you want a different version to download. But other than that, we're going to go with the software version of 1.6.0. So let's do that, uh, except we read through everything. I already have an account. I did the registration. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, log in. So once you log in, the download will start and you can open up the zip file that you downloaded, open up the executable file. You, you can extract it first. So this STM32 cube ID window will pop up. Just click next, agree. Um, I'm just going to choose a destination folder as default, whatever they offer here. So I'm going to go ahead with that. The components you want to install are already selected, so make sure you just leave it de default. Uh, these drivers are used to connect to your STM32 development boards, so uh, they're very much essential to the work you'll be doing with these. And uh, if you don't have a STM32 development board yet, you can use the link in the description below to purchase one. So let's go ahead and click install. Uh, this might say, take some time, so feel free to go ahead and grab some coffee or tea, whatever you want to drink. Uh, you might have some pop-ups here to install the drivers. Once the installation finishes, just click Next. Uh, create a desktop shortcut if you need it. If not, you don't have to, right? So, and you will see this icon on your screen, and that's all. Literally, you just click, double-click on it you will have your STM32 cube ID pop up and uh, you will need to choose a workspace. So go ahead and do that. That's pretty much it. Thank you so much guys for checking out this video. I truly appreciate it. Make sure you hit that like button, consider subscribing and keep up the good art and I'll see you next time.